Hi, my name is Minister Jody, and I thank you for joining me for another blog. I have a brand new message for you, and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about it because I'm just now grasping the deeper meaning of this message, which is, is it a little thing? Wow. A lot of times I've applied it to what we speak, you know, how we need to be careful about what we say and how we say what we say. It might Stuff might make sense to us, but if it doesn't make sense to the next person, then um, like Paul said, you know, I don't want to be uh, striking air. <laughs> um, we need to make sure that what we say is received by the next person so that they're not misunderstanding or we're not being offensive. Because I'm sure that we definitely don't want to be that. And that's something that was important to me is important to me as a writer but um, this message here is it a little thing goes beyond the words that we speak and it, it goes into the area of our actions and, and as I'm beginning to grasp that I'm excited about it I'm excited about applying it because I'm excited that of how the responses that I'm get, you know, the the law of sowing seed and, and harvest, reaping and harvesting, um, I'm excited about it because as I begin to understand that something that is important to somebody else is therefore not a little thing, even if it's something insignificant to me. To me, it might be something little, but as, if it's important to somebody else, then it is not little, and and. It's, it's so funny how uh, I began to grasp it, I began to understand it, and then I began to reflect on this experience that Naaman had found in Kings chapter 5, and 2 Kings chapter 5, Naaman was a leper. And just to give you a brief overview, um, back then the Israelites were slaves, and one of the little girls was a servant to his wife. And she told his wife, well, if my master goes and sees the prophet, um, I think the prophet was Elisha, I'm not sure if it was Elijah or Elisha, but um, she said if, if the prophet goes and see, uh, the uh, excuse me, if Naaman goes and see the prophet, then he would get healed. So Naaman listened to the counsel that the little girl gave the wife, of course the wife encouraged him to go, you know how we do, his wife, and he went to the prophet and the prophet simply told him to go and dip seven times in the Jordan River. Now Naaman was offended by that. He felt, you know, what's so special about the Jordan River? Why do I need to go and dip in the Jordan River when we got rivers that I can go and dip in? So he, he left and decided not to do it. And on the way back, one of his servants said to him, Master, is this a little thing? If the prophet had told you something harder to do, you would have done it. You know, but is this a little thing? And then, of course, Naaman listened. And, um, you know, I need to shout out to Naaman <laughs> uh, being in his leadership position and, and being humble enough to listen to a counsel for somebody else that, that says a lot but um, anyway Naaman listened to the servant and he did that he went and dipped in the Jordan River the seven times just like he was told and lo and behold he was healed so no it was not a little thing the action itself was very important so therefore how do I apply that um, I apply that by paying attention to what's important to those who are around me um, just like I would want them to pay attention to what's important to me if there's something that I want done or something that that um, I'm passionate about you know that's important to me I want others to recognize that it's just important too it's, it's just as important too so therefore if something is important to another regardless of how little we might think it is as long as it is important to somebody else then the matter is not a little thing and and I believe that if we begin to apply this in our relationships, in our marriages, with our families, with our friends, if we begin to sow that seed of counting as important, 
and not little something that is important to somebody else, I honestly believe that our relationships will be blessed with peace, with joy, um, with a, a deeper level of love and appreciation. And I thank God for giving me that understanding. I thank God for how he gave me that understanding. And I look forward to applying that myself within my own relational um, experiences with my friends with my friends and with my family um, especially with my immediate family I look forward to applying it with my son and with my husband so again um, thank you for joining me that's it for today is it a little thing no <laughs> check out 2nd Kings chapter 5 and uh, go on and read it there's a lot of wealth to be gained in that and you guys have a blessed rest of the day see you soon bye